As I speak on this beat, I let out symphonies through tears I've held for years. Reminiscing on my younger years with loved ones who are no longer here. There's way too many to name. I say there's I can't a lot of similarities with, with rap, grime, I make a um, the being the fact that it's just expressive um, and it represents, for example, UK rap, UK grime, it represents a lifestyle, it represents um, what a lot of young people can relate to within the, the area that they're growing up in. And I think that's the same spoken word for me. Um, it's social commentary, you're talking about your society, you're talking about issues that are affecting you. Um, so I think it's, it's similar in that. But I would say spoken word is more more naked. It's like um, there isn't as much of the bravado that comes with rap and, and grime, that whole sort of, that masculine kind of feel to it. Whereas with spoken word, I feel like it's just come as you are and it is what it is if, if we like you we like you if we don't we don't and everyone's kind of left to do what they're what they're doing whereas yeah i think grime and rap is a bit more competitive it's like goal getters are dope spitters stage rippers my killers i'm iller i'm bigger stronger better if i fall i get up see me giving up not ever I lost my best friend to cancer when we were just 21, so 2011. And um, that was a tough, tough situation for me, I think. That was my first time losing someone so close to me. And my way of dealing with that was to kind of shut down, push everyone out. And, you know, I was at uni at the time, so I had my own room and I, you know, I'd have a drink or I'd um, just be chilling with friends, just to distract myself, whatever I could do, I'd be distracting myself. But um, I think when I was alone, it was the spoken word that kind of helped me get through it and kind of made sense of all of the stuff that's going on in my head. And I think that's been one of the things that really broke me, that I had to kind of build myself back up again and really, um, yeah, learn to, learn, to, learn to express myself and be okay with whatever feeling it is that I'm going through. Life is but a dream. Some nights I couldn't sleep, some days I couldn't eat. Grinding for years led me here. Nobody said this life would be fair. Give me peace, give me joy. Give me everything I've prayed for. I'm always grateful. At a time in my life I was hateful. Couldn't look myself in the eyes sometimes. Clothed with deceit and lies. In the arms of tempting women I lay lust stricken. Saw women as hoes, I wasn't looking for a wife, I just wanted to automatically connect like Wi-Fi. See, I lived a double life. At home, I was a good boy in my parents' eyes. By 17, life consisted of college sex and fights. Knew nothing about how to navigate through life. Knew nothing about how to settle conflict. conflict other than to fight, then summer got hot and they reported a rise in knife crime. We lost a few good ones along the way. My best friend died on a warm summer night. Nobody to blame, cancer took his life. That night my eyes shed tears that I couldn't hide. In the back of my mind I heard them saying, big boys don't cry. It took losing a loved one to learn that I could be human. For so long I'd been out of touch with my feelings, broken heart not healing. Unaware that I needed that self-love feeling that wake up in the morning and smile for no reason type of feeling i asked the universe to give me a place i can rest my head i landed in the bosom of an angel she taught me to be free so i let her see the real me i taught myself to look in the mirror and love who i see i seek to see out all of my dreams never living to regret always giving life my best only i determined whether or not i passed the test feeling i'm not alone and where you'll take me is so unknown i sense the energy hunting me down if i turn around and you've caught me well i'm getting tired of running so tired of running and i feel you pulling me closer if i let go where will you take me